Good morning, Calvary. It's Wednesday and I'm Pastor Chad and I'm here with your word for the day. Hey, what are you thinking? I mean, seriously, what are you thinking about? Uh, I ask that question a lot and uh, it frustrates people. Uh, if I'm riding in the car with somebody and there's no conversation going on, I'll just kind of say, hey, what are you thinking about? And I hate it when people say, oh, nothing. Because you're thinking about something, even if it's something you don't think is important enough to share. And, and the problems happen when uh, we start thinking about selfish thoughts, when we start making evil plans, when we start having uh, accusative thoughts in our minds about what other people are thinking or what other people are doing, and we start assuming that we know, and we start processing that over and over and over again in our minds. Uh, the Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 8 said that the mind set on the flesh is death, but the mind set on the Holy Spirit is life and peace. And I don't know about you, but I want life and peace, not death. So, uh, so what are you thinking about? Uh, here's an admonition from the Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 4, and this was influential in my life, uh, especially early on as a Christian, and it stayed with me uh, all through the years. The Apostle says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, Whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. And what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. Okay, what a great litmus test of what's going on in our mind. And I, I want to encourage you to use this verse, Philippians 4, 8, just to evaluate your thoughts and to admit to yourself when you're thinking things that aren't true, that aren't honorable, or that aren't just or pure or lovely or commendable. You see, those are the things that, that we're called to set our minds on so that, you know, it results in life and peace because our mind's set on the Holy Spirit. So if you're looking at your life, if you're looking at your mind and what you're thinking about and it doesn't meet this list, then repent and replace it. Don't just say, I'm sorry, but say, God, I'm sorry, and do something different to think about. So for instance, read scripture, memorize scripture, listen to scripture. Look, nowadays with Bible apps on your phone, you can start playing it and it'll just read the Bible to you. So you say, I don't like to read, you can listen to scripture. You can listen to, uh, you know, Christian worship music. You know, turn on the radio, the Christian station, and listen to the music, play CDs, you know, download them from Spotify, whatever you need to do. Just let that praise to God fill your minds. I, I love it when, uh, you know, when I'm starting to have these evil thoughts or having, you know, distorted thinking and scripture pops into my head or uh, a song starts playing in my mind and I have to go, hey, you know what? I, I shouldn't be thinking about that. I need to be thinking about the things of God. And, and another thing you can do, just listen to sermons or podcasts, uh, you know, teaching, uh, preaching, uh, podcasts on marriage or parenting or just, you know, all kinds of good things that are available online these days whether it's you know, through Calvary or whether it's through Right Now Media or one of the other resources that's out there, there's a lot you can do to focus your mind on Christ and the things that are above because that's where our minds need to be focused on. And here's the thing, if you do that, if you really think about the things that are true and honorable and just and pure and lovely and commendable, then it'll change your mind and it'll change your life and you'll be amazed at the life and peace that you find when your mind is set on the Spirit. I hope that helps, and I'm praying that God will bless you, and you'll have a great day.